One of the things that we usually consider when buying computers is storage. And when looking for the right storage for you, you don't just compare the storage capacity, the cost, you have to also consider the performance, reliability, and also the power usage of your storage device. And as far as computers are concerned, we basically have two main storage devices the hard disk drives and the SSD. A hard disk drive is what most of us have been used to and it's basically a device on your PC that stores data using magnetic technology. It is simply a case with disk platters and an arm with several heads which keep moving while reading data. If you have ever gotten a chance to use one of those old record players like this one over here, then you probably know how this thing works. An SSD or the solid state drive on the other hand, unlike the hard disk, does not have any moving parts. It has no arms, no disks, just integrated circuits. All it does is use transistor technology whereby an electric signal is used to store data into its tiny transistors. It basically works the same way a flash disk works. It has no moving parts, just integrated circuits, and it can store data. So having known that, what other differences do these devices have which can help you identify the right one for you? Let us first compare the speed. In order for a hard disk to work, it needs to spin its disks until the needed data is found. On the other hand, for an SSD, it just needs to send an electric signal to the needed location until the needed data is found. Which, if you agree with me, is much more faster than the hard disk mechanism. So when it comes to speed, SSDs have it. Let us compare the durability. Like I said earlier, a hard disk has moving parts, which are the spinning disks. And we all know that anything that has moving parts needs to be handled carefully. Like the ladies, you see, the ladies have moving parts and they do need to be handled uh, carefully. But SSDs, on the other hand, do not have any moving parts. Like I said, they just have integrated circuits and therefore they can be able to withstand accidental drops, shocks and even vibrations and also exposure to heat or magnetic fields of environment. So again, for durability, SSDs have it. Now let us compare the power usage. Power usage is usually a concern, especially if you are using a laptop. Now the hard disks tend to consume more power than the SSD. And the reason is because even when it's idle, it keeps spinning its disks so that it can always be ready for use. SSDs on the other hand use less power and the reason is because data access in SSD is a lot more faster than the hard disk drive and therefore the device is usually idle. So again in terms of power usage, SSDs have it. Now let's go to the cost. We've already said SSDs have higher reliability, higher power efficiency, higher durability and higher speeds. But guess what else is higher? The costs. Hard disk drives on the other hand tend to be a lot more cheaper than the SSDs and this is because of the cheaper technology that is used to manufacture them. For instance, at the time of this recording, with just 7,000 Kenya shillings, you can be able to buy a one terabyte hard disk drive or even cheaper. But in order for you to buy a one terabyte of SSD, you are going to require from around 13,000 Kenya shillings all the way to 16,000 Kenya shillings. But the good news is as life goes on, the SSD prices are becoming lower and lower and lower and hopefully in the coming future, they are going to be much more affordable and they are going to even replace the hard disk drives. There is another type of storage device called the SSHD and this is called the solid state hybrid drive. What this device does is that it combines both the SSD technology and the hard disk drive technology and I can tell you they are much more cheaper than the full SSD and therefore if you feel you don't have the proper budget to buy an SSD you can still opt to go for an SSHD. Finally, it's good to remember that no matter which storage device you use, 
at some point in your life it's eventually going to crash due to the normal wear and tear. So it's always good to have a backup of your data to be on the safe side. For instance, you can opt to store your data on a cloud storage service like for example Google or even uh, OneDrive for Microsoft and other companies that are there on the internet. All you have to do is check for the one which suits your budget and also suit your need. I hope this video has helped you and I also hope that you have liked it. If you do, why don't you go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video or even any kind of content that I make. And also thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.